Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 45 minute upper body and core strength workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 25s, 15s, 10s, and 5s, but you and I are different, so grab a weight selection that is challenging for you. I'm also going to be dropping weight selection mid tricep as well. You will also need a light minivan, preferably latex, and make it light because we will be using this around the wrist for some upper body work. And lastly, you're going to need a mat and then optional towel and hydration around as well. Here's today's format. We have tri-set. So we have three exercises at a time, two rounds per tri-set. The first round, 60 seconds each. So that's three minutes of total work. We'll get a 15 second recovery before repeating the tri-set again. But the second round is only 30 seconds each. That second round, we're going to, we're going to be pretty fatigued, but we're going to try to maintain that same exact weight selection that felt challenging during round one. However, if it didn't feel challenging round one, that's your opportunity to bump up the weight or vice versa, drop the weight if needed. This one, as always, is low impact. There's no cardio. It is all about strength, but your heart rate may get up. So hit those watches if you have it, grab your band and meet me back on your mat. Let's do this. Our first exercise is spider crawls. And if you're near a wall, I want you to go near that wall to do it. It just makes it more fun. But if you don't have a wall, don't worry about it. We're doing spider crawls. So press into the band, the band is around the wrist, and then we're going up the wall for four, and then down the wall for four. Again, if you don't have a wall, no worries, just do it with the air. But again, the wall makes it a little bit more fun. This is going to target your shoulders and your back muscles. All right, we go. This begins your workout in three, two, and one. I'm facing away from you for 60 seconds. Press into the band and then walk up that wall for four, three, two, one, and then down the wall for four, three, two, one. You're keeping tension on the band throughout, but then you're pressing more into the band as you go up and as you go down. One thing I want you to be mindful of today is not letting the shoulders kind of rise up towards the ears. It's really easy whenever we bring the hands up past the shoulders up towards the sky, the shoulders will want to kind of go up towards the ears. So just be mindful of that, bring awareness to it, keep those shoulders down as we perform these movements today. Ten more seconds and then we'll face each other again. If you're facing away, we have Y pulls next with this band. Band stays in the same place in three, two, and one. We're right here. Bring it up to a Y and then down. Y and then down. Everything is staying still from chest down. So what we don't want is this. And if you bring it too far behind the head and you don't have the mobility or flexibility, which is very common, very, very normal, just decrease the range of motion to right here. And then over time, this is a great exercise for posture. So if you find that you're a little limited here, this exercise is going to be great for increasing your mobility in the long run. So just meet your body where it is at currently. Over time, we'll increase range of motion. This is our warm up block, so I'm talking quite a bit. <laughs> once, I, once I start to get out of breath, you'll notice that I talk less. A pulls are next. We'll go in the opposite direction in three, two, one, eye level. Now pull it down, bring it back. Pull it down, bring it back. It is starting to burn. So if needed, shake it out at any point, rest, pause, and then meet me back. Another thing that I want to mention is uh, you and I are different. So find a pace that feels challenging for you. You can go a little bit faster. You can go slower. You can take breaks. This is your workout. So I want you to make it your own. And again, meet your body where it's at. If you want that challenge today, oh, let's get after it. Love it. But if you're feeling a little bit tired, you know, you're just kind of wanting to move around. That's totally okay too. So find what your body is capable of today. And that's going to look different every single day. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay. We repeat this tri set only 30 seconds per exercise for the Y races and A pools. We'll add a quarter rep in the hardest part of the movement. Here we go. Spider crawls. Press into that band. We go up and down for four and three, two, 
and one. Y pulls are next, Y raises, let's go. Quarter rep at the top, bring it down. Quarter rep, bring it down. A pools, quarter rep, let's go. Last three, two, and one. Meet me on the mat. We are going to be in a supine, or excuse me, in a prone position for the next three exercises. Behind the head, pull parts are next. So again, meet your body where it is at. Press into the band, keep the head on the mat. We take it behind the head, reach out, and then lower. My head is lifted only so you can hear me in my mic, but after I'm done talking, I'm resting my head. Meet your body where it's at. So if you can only bring it here, bring it there. Just decrease the range of motion if needed. Swimmers are next in three, two, one. Opposite hand, opposite arm. Tuck your chin and pull your high pony so we're not leading with the neck. The neck is just long for the ride. Supermans are next. We go both arms, both legs, neutral grip. So palms face one another. Let's go, bring it up, press into that band. Ooh, everything's on fire. And then bring it down. Last three, two, and one. Oh, nice work. Now we have a 30 second round coming up. Again, with the behind the head pull aparts, meet your body where it's at. So decrease the range of motion if needed, and you're pressing into that band, pulling it apart as you bring it behind the head. 
30 seconds each. Let's go. Swimmers are next in three, two, and one. Let's go opposite leg, opposite arm, pronated grip. Superman's, let's go. Last three, two, and one. Wow, one more tricep with this mini band and then we'll put it up, I promise. Next up, we have banded dumbbell hip hinge rows. I'm gonna start with my 25s and then I'm dropping 10s for the next. Let's go, hinge from the hips and then we row up and down. Neutral grip, elbows and tight palms face the body. Next up, we have banded front raises. I'm going to switch my dumbbells out for a set of 10s in three, two, and one. Wow, drop that weight if needed. <laughs> I'm going to need to. And then we bring it up, down. Keep tension on the band the entire time. Neutral grip, control it. Quality over quantity always. We ditch the dumbbell, it's, it's a band only with your body weight, face pulls are next, drop the weight, <laughs> we're here, and then just pull right by the face. Try to keep your traps down. Again, sometimes the tendency is to wanna do that. And if you're trying to bias your upper traps, by all means, go for it. But if we can keep those shoulders down, pull that band apart, it's really going to target mid to upper back and the lower part of your traps. Last three, two, and one. Wow, shake it out. One more round, 30 seconds each. It's a drop set for me. You can keep the, the same weight the entire time if you want to, but do the face pulls body weight. Here we go. 
rows. It's only 30 seconds. Let's go. Keep your core tight throughout to help stabilize. Neutral back, neutral spine, targeting the lats. We drop the weight. We have front raises. Let's go. Last three, two, one. Ditch the weight, face pulls this time, quarter rep. Last three, two, and one. Done with that band. Next up, we have an Arnold press. I'm gonna start with 25s, and then when I go to curls, I'm dropping to 15s. I might have to drop to 10s. But we'll start. I'm, I'm, I'm ambitious today. Okay, here we go. Just flip the grip from you to me as you drive it up. Core stays tight. If you find that your hips have to go forward like that to get the dumbbells up, drop the weight selection to just something a little bit lighter. I want you to control the weights. The weights don't control you. Next up, we have bicep curls, supinated grip. In three, two, one, I'm dropping the weight to 15s. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And we're just wrapping it out. Up, we have a hammer curl to a thruster in three, two, flip the grip, one hammer curl, use the legs to drive it up and then down. Whew. Hammer curl, use the legs to drive it up and then down. Come on, last rep. Last three, two, and recover. Wow, okay. Rest, recover, Arnold Press is next. Only 30 seconds.
Let's go. Arnold press, 30 seconds. Bicep curls, drop the weight, and let's go. Hammer curl to half thruster is next. Let's go, neutral grip. Use the legs to get those dumbbells up. Control it down. Last rep, three, two, and one. Ha! Nice work, wow. Okay, row is next, semi-pronated grip. We'll do the left side first, then the right. So right foot is forward, left foot is back. Core stays tight. You can stabilize with this offhand by using a wall or a bench, or you can just let it rest. That arm rests on your thigh. Semi-pronated grip. So instead of taking it straight back or straight to the side, you're going somewhere in between. Think 45 degree angle. sides in three, two, and one. Other side, left foot forward, right foot back. Grab the dumbbell with your right hand and then take it back at that 45 degree angle. Next up, we have a body weight push up to four mountain climbers. You can do the push up off or on the knees in three, two, one. Dumbbell off to the side. Keep your elbows tight to the body. We're going to hit some triceps with this as well. So, one push up, bring it up, four slow and controlled mountain climbers. Again, you can do the push up on the knees and then you can bring those knees up for your mountain climbers. Three, two, and one. Nice work from the top. 30 seconds each this round. Whew. And it's on to something new. Whew. 
let's go. Last three, two, one, switch sides, and let's get to it. Next up, push up to four mountain climbers. You choose the intensity. On the knees is still extremely challenging. And then really slow and controlled on those mountain climbers. Feel your lower abdominals. Do the work. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> wow, okay. Up next, we have a press. I'm gonna start with tens and adjust from there. We'll see, I'm getting pretty fatigued. So bring it up, semi-circle. You're keeping this bend in the elbows the entire time as we go to a little circle. Tricep extensions are next. Let's do one more rep. Last three, two, and one to shake it out. Dumbbells go up, and let's rip out those triceps. Next up, we have Lou raises. I'm going to try to maintain this weight, but I have my fives handy in case I need to drop. When I need to drop, arms stay pretty straight throughout. Slight bend in the elbows as we make a semicircle up and down. Last three, two, and one. Wow, 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 wow. Got some money reps in there. <laughs> that was good. Okay, we repeat that 30 seconds each.
Let's go. We go to triceps in three, two, and one. Blue raises. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, up next we have a pole lateral raise slow. Oh, I'm gonna try 15s first, but but have have something lighter around. At least I'm talking to myself. Curl it up, hammer curl, elbows go out, and then control it down. Lateral raises next. I'm dropping the fives in three, two, and one. Something to think about as we fight through this bird is take the dumbbells slightly in front of the body. So instead of going at a three to nine o'clock position, go somewhere just, just a hair above that. Somewhere in between two and three, somewhere in between that nine and 10 o'clock position if you're standing on a clock. That just slight angle, taking it in the scapular plane, will bias your medial delts, the outer portion of your delts a little bit more so than those traps. Next up, rear delt flies. We hinge from the hips. Soft elbows go around that beach ball and then bring it in. Last three, two, and one. Wow, shake it out. We go from the top. This time I'm not trying my 15s. I'm doing 10s for the polyquin lateral raises and then dropping to fives for the remaining sets. Here we go. 
Let's do it. I felt my form start to start to slip a little bit when I had the 15s, which is okay. You know, try out a heavier weight and then try out a few reps. And if you're like, oh no, I literally cannot lift the weight. At least we tried. At least we tried and we know it. And as we get stronger, we're gonna be able to go back to that weight and it'll get easier every single time. But we won't know until we try. <laughs> and sometimes pairing these exercises, go ahead, drop it to your fives. Quarter rep at the top this time. So quarter rep at the top. The way I pair these exercises, you may be able to do this. <laughs> if you're just doing a set of four, 10 to, 10 to 15 reps, you may be able to do that weight. But pairing it with these exercises, little recovery time makes it a little different and humbles us quite, quite well. Here we go, rear delt flies, quarter rep at the top, let's go. Last three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, next up, we have a hip hinge pronated row. So this time, elbows will go out to the side in that hip hinge position. I'll be doing some 15s for this. Let's go. Out to the side, control it down. Next up, we have a hybrid upright row. I'll be dropping my weights to tens. Couple more reps. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Drop your dumbbells if needed. Now we're doing an upright row, but instead of keeping it tight to the body, I want you to take it into a little circular path. This way, instead of those upper traps kind of coming up at the very end, we're targeting more, ha, ah, of the just upper portion of your back, not really biasing the traps like a dumbbell upright row normally would. And this is going to feel better on your shoulders as well, taking it in the circular path. Next up, we have a push-up to four renegade rows. You can do the push-up on or off the knees in three, two, one. Step it back into your push-up. Offer on the knees, wide stance with the feet. Row it up for four, three, two, one. Here's what the modification will look like. You do the push-up on the knees and then do the row on the knees as well. Last three, two, and one. Huh. Wow, great work. Final round, and then we're on to our final block. Wow, this flew by. <laughs> this flew by. Here we go. 
pronated row. Let's do it. Hybrid upright row in three, two, and one. Push up to renegade row. Here we go, let's do it. One push up to four rows. Try to keep your hips level. They're going to want to rotate open just like this. Keep your core tight, keep those hips level. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're on to some lat work, core, abs, then we're done. I'll be using one 15 pound dumbbell for this, just a lat pullover. So grab the dumbbell like this to increase your range of motion, back flat against the mat, and then we're bringing it up. So feel that stretch along the lats. Use the lats to drive it back up. I can't just call you when the moon is rising. I'm craving every moment with you. I can't just need you when the tides are turning. I cherish every second with you. I've got to hold on to your heart every day of the week, every week of the year. I've got to rewind and restart so you get. We continue this move. Next up, we add the crunch with it, lower and upper. In three, two, one. So we bring the knees in, chest towards the knees, reach it long, tap the heels. On the exhale, drive it up. Inhale long, exhale. Use the core to bring you back up. Try to keep your back pressing into the mat the entire time. If you have a lot of movement in your lumbar spine, meaning a lot of space, excessive space, a large space right there, you will feel it in your back because your back lumbar spine is going to through extension and flexion. So just keep that in mind, limit the range of motion if needed so you can feel it more at the front of the core and less in that lower back. Next up, straight leg raise to four flutter kicks in three, two, one. Release the dumbbells. You can use the hands to support the pelvis to keep it more neutral. Bring it down flutter kick for four, three, two, one. Use that lower abs to bring it up. Bring it down flutter kick for four, three, two, one. If needed, bend the knees and then four, three, two, one is your option. Last rep. Last three, two, and one. All right, y'all, this is it. 30 seconds each, then we are done. We got this. Grab your dumbbell, flat pullovers. In three, two, 
and one. Come on, y'all, we got this. 30 seconds here. We add the crunch, dumbbell double crunch, let's go. Straight leg raise to flutter kicks. Let's do it. Four, three, two, one. Together, lower abs drive you up. Control it on the way down. Four, three, two, one. In five seconds, we hold at the bottom. Just flutter kick in three. Two, one, hold these flutter kicks, 15 seconds. I saw hold in three, two, one, just hold. Final 10, hold, you got this. Here's your last, five, four, three, two, one and release, we are done. Awesome work, hug the knees in, make circles with the knees, going clockwise, and then go counterclockwise. Ooh, awesome work today. All right, grab a hold of the back of the legs, give yourself a few rolls up, make sure you're doing this on a mat, some sort of cushion, and then come all the way up, go around, and we're just coming in to a modified upward facing dog first. Some of you may know this as a little cobra pose. Heart reaches forward, feel a nice stretch along the front of the abdominals. Then when you're ready, bring it all the way up. To increase the intensity, intensity of the stretch, you can always just hang out right here. Start to press into the tops of the feet and then just start to sway side to side. One more big deep inhale on the exhale, bring it all the way down. Release one arm to the side, doesn't matter which one first, and very slowly, very, very slowly, start to roll over. Just getting a nice big stretch along the front of the delt into your chest. Only go to where your body feels comfortable going to. It should feel good, it should never be painful. So if needed, just come out of it. Now one way to increase the intensity of the stretch, if you're very, very flexible, or just want a deeper stretch, you can actually bend the elbow and wow, yeah, I can't go very far here, but it's pretty intense. So use with caution and just know that it is a very intense opener, but feels quite good. All right, let's do the other side, come out of it slowly. If you find yourself, uh, at a desk all day in a forward kind of facing position where the shoulders are rounded, head is forward. This is gonna feel really, really good. And most of us are in that position just due to our forward facing society, computers, cars, cell phones, doing anything. <laughs> it just naturally puts us there. So this should feel really good. If you bent that other elbow, let's bend this one. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna keep the stretching pretty short today, but I'll link some additional stretching below if you want it. I'll link some cardio and some additional ab work in case you want more abs. And let's come out of it, tabletop position, and then bring the arms forward. We're coming into puppy pose, just feeling a nice stretch along the lats. If you're not feeling much here, you can always kind of take the hands behind the head and then just inch those elbows out and you'll feel a big stretch along the lats into the triceps. And slowly release, meet me in an easy seat. We'll do some side body stretches with some triceps. Inhale up. On the exhale, go up and over. 
Other side. Let's do that one more time because it feels so good. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. This time, inhale up. On the exhale, open up the chest. Let's do that twice more. Inhale up, exhale, open. Inhale up and exhale, open. Nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the world. So do that below. Y'all are awesome. Tag me in your posts and stories. I love to see them. Literally makes my day. On IG, at Laurie Midkiff. Facebook, Fit by Laurie. I'm not on Facebook as much as Instagram. But yes, just do that and let me know how you liked it in the comments below. What you want to see and we'll make it happen. Most importantly, as long as you charge your best, that's what matters most. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends. You rock.